Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoag in Davenport, Iowa. I specialize in applied kinesiology, which is a holistic technique that allows us to treat a wide, ra wide range of problems that we couldn't actually treat otherwise. Uh, and uh, as you know, I've probably, you, you've probably seen some other videos. Uh, and if you like this one, please let me know. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please click like and please like my page. Uh, and if you're on, on YouTube, please uh, put a comment in there that you like it. Um, and you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because we have lots of good videos there on a wide variety of health problems. Uh, also, I want to let you know that if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section because uh, I enjoy seeing your feedback and I enjoy answering your questions. So uh, please feel free to uh, put those questions in there or you can also uh, do a, a, a Facebook messenger post to me and I'll answer the questions that way too. Today we're going to talk about one of the areas of applied kinesiology that um, lets us treat a wide range of problems which aren't treatable otherwise. Uh, and it's really going to be about your skull. In fact, the, the title of this is Three Surprising Things About Your Skull. And the first surprising thing about your skull is that it's not just one big fused bone. I used to think the skull was like a bowling ball. You know, you got the, the eyes and the mouth, those are your three holes, and it's like a big, one big bone, but it's really not. Uh, a normally functioning skull actually has very slight motion with breathing, uh, and that motion is necessary for proper functioning. Uh, in many areas of the body. Uh, proper skull function is important for uh, keeping pressure off cranial nerves. You've heard me talk probably about the vagus nerve. That's one of the cranial nerves, very important cranial nerve, that, that can be interfered with by improper cranial function. And that vagus nerve, as you probably know, goes everywhere in the body. Uh, almost every organ in the body is supplied by the vagus nerve. Your digestive system, your heart, your lungs, um, your, your larynx, uh, your kidneys, all are supplied by the vagus nerve. If there's improper cranial function, that vagus nerve and a lot of other nerves also become affected. The visual uh, vision problem can be uh, another result of improper cranial function. <clears throat> uh, equilibrium problems, balance problems can also result from improper cranial function. Of course, brain function can be affected by improper cranial function. So the, se so the first thing about that's surprising about the uh, your skull is that it actually moves. It's not like a, a, a solid fused bone. The second thing is that is that um, imbalances or improper cranial function affect a whole wide range of, of problems in the body. Uh, not only does it affect cranial nerves, but that cranial motion, that, that pulsing motion in the, in the cranium is important for <clears throat> allowing proper circulation of cerebral spinal fluid. What is that? Well, cerebral spinal fluid is a fluid that supports and nourishes the brain and spinal cord. So if that cranial motion is interfered with, so that, that pumping motion is not working properly, then your brain and your spinal cord don't get adequate nutrition. What could that affect? Well, what couldn't it affect? Everything. And that's what we see in practice, that when there's cranial problems, almost any area of the body could be affected. And we see, typically, we see anything from, from joint problems because of muscle imbalance to digestive problems to uh, any kind of metabolic problem like that can be affected by, by improper cranial function. The third thing that's kind of surprising about cranial, uh, about your skull, about cranial problems, is that when we, when we make the adjustment to correct this, what we're not trying to do, we're not trying to put a bone in place. Uh, like when we were just in the spine, as I was originally trained as a chiropractor, and when we were just in the spine, we are trying to actually realign the spine and put a, a vertebra back into place to take pressure off a nerve that goes to a specific area, unlike the cranial areas, which affect the whole body. Um, and so what we're trying to do with cranial adjusting is we're trying to restore normal motion rather than trying to put a bone in place. And to do that, this is another very interesting thing about your, your, your skull, is that we're using very, very light pressure. Now, as you may know, in the adjusting that I do here in my office here in Davenport, Iowa, everything I do light, light pressure. We're, we're, we're doing maybe a couple, three pounds of pressure for adjusting the spine. But in this cranium, in the skull bones, 
we're doing ounces of pressure. And it's very important to do that light adjustment because if you, you can also cause some problems with the cranial bones if you adjust them too hard or incorrectly. This is why if you're gonna get cranial adjusting done, you wanna to go to someone who is well-trained in it. Um, applied kinesiologists, people who are certified in applied kinesiology like myself, or actually I certify other doctors in applied kinesiology, are well-trained in cranial adjusting. There are also some other techniques like uh, the, the sacroccipital technique or SOT, and then there's a cranial sacral work uh, and some osteopathic work uh, also is very, they're very well trained in cranial adjusting, but you need to go to someone who's, who knows what they're doing as well trained and well qualified because the, the low force adjusting is really key. And when you get the cranial adjusting done, it just opens things up tremendously. Uh, very low force, um, very, uh, very little pressure, very little interference from the doctor input from the doctor, but massive improvements in function throughout the body. So I hope this, this brief talk about cranial adjusting and, and your skull, the surprising things about your skull, is interesting to you. And I hope if you've got some health problems that you see somebody who is knowledgeable in cranial adjusting can help you with this. Again, if you have any questions or any comments, please uh, feel free to uh, put that in the comment, se comment session section there. Feel, feel free to message me on Facebook Messenger. And um, uh, and please please click like if you like this on Facebook, and please like my Facebook page. I like it when you like me, uh, and uh, uh, look forward to having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.